Okay, hello everybody. This video will um, we will work with the BWP script, but it's um, almost more of a video in the series about how to successfully fail because I have uh, learned something new today and I really want to share this with you and and it's kind of important uh, to know about this if, if, if you plan on writing more complex uh, bash scripts like this one or maybe even less complex one because yeah this this is very good to know about I'm, I'm just uh, saying so we left off in the last uh, video with uh, uh, our BWP scripts we could travel back in time with uh, the previous option like this we have the history file here and now we can see we are at this wallpaper Soma Brygga if I go previous again now it should select Polygon Sunrise here looks like it's working fine and uh, I think I, I showed you quickly that this works uh, as long as everything is uh, as expected but if we would uh, delete a, a wallpaper for some reason from this walls directory but it's still in the history file then we we we, we will get some issues so let's see now we are at pineapple bench here and that is this one so if i delete table cat i i don't want to delete table cat if i delete white mountains then uh we cannot go back because white mountains doesn't exist it just exits for us here with a, this error no such wallpaper and that is uh, what we are going to fix in this video but we will also see now this important uh, uh, thing that i want to show you an issue that i didn't really know know about till now but let's start by trying to fix this so we have our get previous wall here uh, we need to test to see if if the wallpaper the name the name we get here with this orc thing if that is really an image in in the walls directory so we store this output in in uh, we can call it uh, trg because that's a good name that i like to use all the time and then we can test uh, if a file exists uh, let's put it in quotes uh, wd is a global variable for the walls directory and then trg so if this exists then echo trg file so now it should work uh, uh, like before. If it, yeah, th th this shouldn't make any difference at all. So of course we do an else here also. If it doesn't exist, what we want to do is clean up, remove remove that entry from from the history file, and remove it from from all uh, if it's a blur and also locks. Uh, at least that's what I want to do. Uh, so we and we will create a function called delete wall for this and we pass target and after we have done so we execute the same function here again get previous wall to try to get a new previous wall and that should hopefully work i know this will create new issues because this could result in if we have a, a history file where no of the uh, names exist in the walls directory then we get the endless loop here so we have to take care of that but but um, or maybe we could do that right away because if that would happen then then trg is empty we could try that first here if trg doesn't have anything or will it really yeah it will Uh, then we can exit out here. 
history is is lost. Ah, it's empty. Whatever. <coughs> Okay, okay, okay. So let's create this delete wall function. God damn it. What we want to do is uh, clean up so we remove all traces like files from it, from the walls, from the locks, from the blurs. And that could be written like this BWP did star TRG. It's important that the star is not inside double quotes here. Maybe it's even better to write it like this. The, so this will expand to all subdirectories and it will remove all files uh, inside each subdirectory here that matches this TRG. Um, and uh, we also want to remove it from the history file itself, uh, the entry. Uh, and I want to use sed here. So this is the history file now. Let's say we want to remove waiver from the history here. Then we could do sed uh, waiver d history. So this will pr uh, print that file without that name here. And of course, we should write it like this. That also works. And we can even uh, use a variable. So if we create a variable here, just to test, trg is equal to waiver. We should be able to write this trg here. There, that also works. So this is what we use, and then we can use the the uh, in place option here to replay to overwrite the content of the file. That's why I want to use said here. It, it, it will be just a small one-liner, which is nice. So we add that here. Change this to history. Save. And let's um, keep delete function as it is here uh, for now. Because uh, I think this is enough now for, for our... Um, previous wall stuff here to work. Now it will delete uh, that broken file and then try to get a new previous wall. So we are in history, we are a table cat, white mountains doesn't exist in walls. It will delete it from the blurs and we'll see. Previous. So now if everything works we should get the waiver wallpaper and it looks like we did and it removed it from the history file it removed it from the blur directory great um, and now now it kind of works now uh, it works if, if it's a valid file then it will just take that <coughs> and this was fine I thought uh, I was happy uh, and I uh, also added this delete wall. That's something uh, I thought could be nice to have as a command line option as well. Uh, but uh, the synopsis is a little bit different here. Uh, I would like to be able to pass the F flag for force delete. And also it makes no sense to have uh, to delete like a random wall and not even previous or next wall either uh, the name of a wallpaper or blank and if it's blank then it will delete the current wallpaper uh, delete wallpaper from library there and then we add this as an option in our get tops here so now we should be able to delete one of these let's just take one um, Let's take waiver and see if it works. BWP D waiver. 
doesn't seem to be where, ah of course nothing happens because we have no haven't declared any actions or anything to test here for for the d option <coughs> so we add that here o d i remember then delete wall from here i can use the wall variable which will be this which uh, will take this waiver and compare it and stuff and to see that it is a, a wall and, 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 and stuff now it should work there it deleted it it's removed now from the history it doesn't exist no one knows where it is great fantastic um, but now uh, we, we haven't done any tests or anything here for, for these random next and previous options. Uh, we don't allow those and the D option at the same time. So we can test it here. If O D is equal to one and one of those options is equal to one random next previous is more than zero then one of them is set we print we exit and print an error message here um, dash r dash n dash p is not allowed when deleting test it try to delete table cat or something with a random option here table cat no it's not allowed you're not allowed to do that good that works and then there is and this is where this uh, thing that I uh, realized uh, appeared for me or, or when I realized it is uh, we, we could actually pass uh, the option here and the argument could be a file and if that would be true then we would get into this get wall here it would pass the arguments which is uh, the path to a file we get into get wall here it tests here random is not set previous is not set uh, uh, we have uh, an argument the argument is a file and then it tries to add that file to the library and this is of course uh, we don't want to do that either because uh, yeah, then we would add the file and then delete it. It's like maybe one of the most stupid operations you could do, you know. So um, we don't want that to happen. So I thought let's add that here to add the library. Just a test here. Uh, and see if the D option is set from the command line. Then print an error message, erx to exit out, um, file path not a valid arg to delete action or something. There and then we could try this with a file. Um, let's see, ls fix okay wp let's take nwp here we have a bunch of files here image files so if i just uh, try one of these bwp delete and then we can select fix um, nwp virus there for example now this will happen and so we get this error message file path not a valid or delete action and here we are erx which is supposed to exit the script that's what, how i thought this was working exit does not just return from a function it exits the script but that's not really what's happening here we can see it tries to remove here it tries to remove all the directories here in in bwp there uh, 
but luckily it doesn't do so because yeah it is a directory and rm doesn't delete directories if you don't uh, uh, use the r option which we aren't using so nothing really happens but this shouldn't happen it should just it shouldn't be anything if, except this error message here and it is because um, exit doesn't exit the script it exits the current shell and we are actually inside a subshell here that subshell is this this is a subshell when you put these in parentheses like this we are in a subshell so we pass a file go to get wall we are in a subshell we are still in a subshell here get wall blah 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 uh, and, and get the exit uh, message here that will just exit out of this uh, subshell and then it continues with the script here goes into delete wall with a uh, now this this doesn't contain anything and it you get this weird stuff and this is very serious we we really don't want this to happen so i i i um Try to figure out what was going on here uh, and uh, yeah w my conclusion was it it uh, it doesn't exit the script, it just exit the, the, the subshell. So I, I kind of googled or duck duck goad that. Uh, how to, yeah, I probably have it here. Uh, maybe not. But I, 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 I searched for how, how to exit a script from within a subshell, basically. And I came across some different pages. But the one that helped me was this uh, stack exchange uh, um, thread here someone have a similar issue here and apparently th there is uh, didn't seem to be a good good way to do this could either use kill dollar dollar which will kill the the, the current uh, process and, and that kind of works but it's very dirty and can cause other weird issues so I really didn't like this uh, also good link here um, or no it wasn't that this is another uh, thing you could that could solve it using the e set e option because you can set some some options to bash uh, to to uh, uh, make it do other things. For example, yes, a, 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 a common one is to set the POSIX option, which will uh, for. Uh, for, force the script to be run in in POSIX mode, meaning all all bashisms and, and stuff are not allowed. So even if you only have bash as a shell installed, you can still be sure that you are writing POSIX if you use this, for example. And then like pipe fail is another quite common option. But lowercase e, er exit, that kind of fixes this issue. But this is a very bad option. I would say that it is considered harmful uh, and many others have said so too. I will also link this uh, page here where, where they describe how, how weird this dash E option behaves and, and, and you can get... It's, it's really strange and it, it, it's not good at all. It's like two scripts with almost the exact same code might uh, behave completely different. It, it, it doesn't really make any sense and it's, it's really bad and I also found this uh, uh, GNU mailing list here where they are discussing this it, it, it have been broken for decades uh, according to them here so don't use uh, dash e but luckily there is a very good solution to this uh, because uh, this uh, user here Stefane Ch Chasselas uh, tells us that we can use capital E option instead and capital E option uh, er trace is uh, if that is set then you can trap error signals and if, when we do so we can create our own custom uh, uh, um, error error codes or exit codes and this will solve everything I'm, I'm so happy I found this and I, I will review many of my scripts uh, now after this video and see if I'm sure th this uh, might solve some issues I've had throughout my bash uh, experiments, you know. And I like to add this here 
this might look a bit weird to add this here because this is not a function. You could add it here. It will work the same way. We, we could even add it here at the top here if we wanted to. Um, and this is where you most often see these uh, uh, options. They could also be written like, let's see now, what was it? Uh, uh, trace. Yes. So you can write it like this. You can also write this. These two mean the same thing. Uh, and we could add it here, we could add it wherever, we could add it here, we could add it uh, here. We have this loop, you remember, where we source all files in this lib directory. So we could add it here, but that also means we could put it in its own file in the lib directory, even if it's not a function. And I think in this case, it makes sense to put it here with the error functions. And how this works now is that anytime a script uh, or anytime uh, uh, an error occurs and an error uh, it's considered an error when when the exit code is not zero or nothing the most common exit code is one and you can uh, view the last exit code uh, with the dollar question mark here it's zero um could just try some stupid command here command v fe that will uh, th uh, that will work and then we can see the exit code zero but if we try something like this you know we get nothing here but what really happened is that the exit code is now set to one because this this was uh, false so to speak or fail exit code fail um but here now every time in this script, if, if uh, uh, something returns an, an exit code that isn't zero, then this trap will be uh, triggered. And this trap, all it does is to test if the exit code wa uh, was 77. If it is, it will send a new exit signal with 77, which in turn will exit the next shell and trigger the trap again, send the exit 77 again, and so this this will break out of any nested subshells, but only if the 77 uh, error code is, is uh, yeah, if it's the, that's the exit code. And that should only happen if you set 77 as the exit, exit code yourself, which we do here now in our exit functions. So every time we use this, it will also trigger this trap and, and, and we'll get the expected uh, uh, result, but it's at the same time, we don't get the issues. Uh, I don't want to go into everything about this uh, dash E option, but uh, that, that, that uh, you, you get a lot of other issues w when using this because you, sometimes you, you, get, you, you get like a pipe or a command that fails, like that command V, for example. Uh, maybe you don't uh, you're fine if, if command V fails like this you don't need to exit the script but that is what would happen with with a lowercase e but here you get like best of of, of two worlds or or a working <laughs> exiting thing and I'm so happy that I have found this and now if we when we have added this and try to add a file here, now we only get the error message. It doesn't continue with the script. It, it, this made everything a lot more secure. And, and you, you can just imagine when you're doing RM, for example, or other, yeah, there are so many uh, things that can go wrong if you don't ex uh, if you continue a script uh, when you don't intend to, especially when you're deleting things and stuff. So, but now it should uh, work much better and let's see, maybe we can continue a bit here on the delete function. There are a couple of things uh, I would like to add to it. One is the force flag. I think we take that in the next video because how I would like it to work is that if we don't add a force option, then it should also prompt us if we really want to delete that file. But if, if the force option is set, it just deletes it. Um, Another thing is, if, if we delete the current wall, if we execute bw 
p d without any arguments then it deletes the current wall and when it does then i would like it to to uh, to, to set the wallpaper to the previous wall also i just think that makes sense and i think we can add that quickly here it's no big deal uh, yes test here if uh, trg is equal to kurnam which is the name of the current wall then uh, uh, we execute set wall which would change wallpaper and the argument to set wall is the output of get previous wall Here I guess set wall, yes, because we make this test here to not change the history. Maybe that's fine. Maybe that doesn't matter that we doesn't change the history when when we do it, when we are doing this. I don't think it does really. Let's try this. Delete the current wall. Let's go open the history file. Also, we are at table cat. If we delete the current wall, it should remove it and set the wallpaper to Sommar Brigga didn't work ah I know I know what it is now we have probably broken everything here Oops. okay okay it's in get wall this is an old thing that we never took care of if if um, yeah here it is If we don't have an argument when we get to this get wall, it tests here if, if uh, the file uh, current wall exists, this file, not, not what this points to, but this uh, actual symlink here. And then, then it returns, uh, this is a typo, this is stupid, uh, it returns the directory <laughs> of this file, that's not what we want. What we want to do is echo kernam here. There, now it should work. And now we don't have table cat anymore. F in the chat. Whatever. Um, okay. So next video we add that prompt thing, and we can also add the go go forward in history. But I will add some some useful links here that I have found regarding this uh, capital E option. Um, and yes, I know there are some more edge cases we need to take care of here in, in this previous wall. We should also, or maybe we fix that here. I don't remember. Whatever. When we are done, this will be bulletproof. It will be Im impossible to, to break this. We shall always uh, be able to set wallpapers. Random, 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 random. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.